morning. Let's go ahead and check out outside. This is going to be a beautiful night, folks. We got lots of sunshine around a few clouds here and there. Let's go ahead and talk about the temperature. Look at this 69 degrees right now in Longview. Winds are north northwest at 15 miles per hour. So those northerly winds, they are going to pack a little bit of a chill with it uh, this evening. Upper 60s, lower 70s. Crockett's at 73, 73 in Lufkin, 72 in center. Dew points in the upper 20s and lower 30s, but again, yeah, it's dry out there and we're going to be dry for really the next week. Look at these winds gust right now, 20 to 35 miles per hour. And again, it's just going to be chilly. We're actually going to have to uh, give you the wind chill for tomorrow morning's forecast and even for tonight's forecast as well. Those temperatures slowly but surely falling. We will be in the 50s by 10 o'clock with those mostly clear skies here and there. And most of those clouds for six o'clock going to be in deep east Texas, but they will move out shortly thereafter. And this is what we were talking about as far as those colder temperatures go. Everybody in this lighter blue here, that is a freeze watch. A freeze warning is out in the darker purple for sections of the Midwest. But just look at the scope of this. This covers almost the entire country, folks. From the Ohio River Valley all the way down to the Gulf of Mexico, you are under some sort of highlight with regards to either a frost, freeze, warning, or watch. And I do anticipate East Texas tomorrow night is going to be under one of these highlights because our temperatures, whether you like it or not, are going to be very close to freezing. Some of us may be in the upper 20s, especially for our northeastern and northern counties. Right now for Tyler Longview Lufkin, I've got us just a hair above freezing, but that doesn't mean some of the outlying cities that tend to get a little cooler won't reach 32 or 31 degrees, which does mean you're probably going to have to bring the uh, plants inside. Now, here are your Wednesday morning lows, more specifically for Tyler Longview and Lufkin. We'll be in the low to middle 30s. That record low temperature was 34, set back in 1975 for Tyler. Longview, that record low was 30, set back in 67. And then another cold morning occurred in Lufkin several years before that. 28 degrees is your record low temperature, 1948 but I've got us at about a 35 degree low temperature then. But things begin to change, not only for next week, but the latter half of this week as well. High temperatures in the 80s by then. As we look at that precipitation outlook, still a lot of uncertainty with this. But as we look more towards next Sunday, all the way to next Thursday, it does look like early next week we will have a chance of rain, but there is still a lot of uncertainty with some of our longer range models as to what will actually happen with the storm system that we are expecting. Here are the next several days. 60s Tuesday and Wednesday, plenty of sunshine around. There are your 80s, folks. If you're not a fan of this cooler weather, you'll get your warmer weather Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Welcome to East Texas, deep East Texas. Similar trend, 60s, 70s, and 80s. Something for everybody there over the next seven days. Casey?